Hi, I'm Kurt and I'm an academic advisor at the University of Minnesota Duluth. Today I'm going to show you how to use the registration shopping cart and the class search function in the MyU portal. To access these tools for registering for classes, you're going to want to click on the gray box that says academics on the left hand side. Then you're going to want to click on the registration tab. Once this opens, you'll see a gray box that says register shopping cart. So you'll click on that to enter the registration system. Once this opens, I want to point out there are two rows of tabs. To add and drop classes and build your schedule, you're, you're going to want to stay in the Enroll tab on the top row, and then the second row of tabs are functions under Enrolling or Dropping Classes. It's going to default to Add, and that's generally where you're going to want to be. For this example, we're going to pick Fall 2022 Semester, and then click the Continue button. Now I'm going to also point out that when you enter this, it's going to be, the cursor is going to be blinking in the Class Number field. Now this is a five digit number that you're unlikely to know. Even as advisors, we don't generally know that five digit number. So you're gonna to wanna to click on the search button to search for your classes. If you know the exact letter code and number that you're gonna to wanna to register for, you'll type those in. The letter code goes in the subject box. The number goes in the box below it. And for my example, I'm using general psychology, uh, which is PSY 1003. Once you enter those, you'll scroll to the bottom and click search. And then we'll see our search results. Here are four sections of general psychology. They're going to vary by times, days of the week, uh, potentially rooms and buildings, faculty members, so you'll want to look closely at the uh, different listings and sections. Then you'll find one you want to register for. You'll click select and that'll bring you to the enrollment preferences screen. I want to point out one thing on this enrollment preferences. Generally you're going to want to click next and just bypass this screen. But there is a box that says waitlist if class full. I want you to be very careful about this button. If you check this button, it'll put you on a waitlist and not enroll you in a class, even if there are open seats. So you only want to check this box if you are sure the class is full and you want to place yourself on the waitlist. Do not check it if you uh, know there are open seats and want to register. So we're going to ignore that box for the, today's example. We're going to click next and that will push this section of general psychology into my shopping cart. And then we'll want to continue to build our cart. So I'm going to go back to the search button and find another class. Now this time I may not know the letter code, so I can use this button here to find the different letter codes of departments. You'll get an alphabetized list, and for to this purpose, or for this example, I'm going to choose M for mathematics. So we get to mathematics, and math happens to be the letter code, I know, surprise. Click select, and so that automatically populates that. Now, if you want to look, for example, for calculus, you may not know the number of that either. So you can change this exactly to either greater than or less than. I'm going to do less than 2,000 because I know calculus is a lower division class, but I just can't remember the exact number. So then I'll do a search, and I can see all mathematics courses below the number 2,000. And the type in orange will show you the class number, and then there are many sections of each class underneath it usually. So I'm going to scroll down to Calculus. Here's Calculus 1. And I want to point out this is a two-component class, which is why I use this example. There's a lecture, that's what the LEC means in the second column, and that's Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 8. And then this lecture has three discussion sections before I get to the next lecture. So what this is all about is this class has Monday, Wednesday, Friday lecture in a large group. And then everybody breaks into three smaller groups, Tuesday and Thursday, for practice problems, review, getting questions answered, and just basically having a discussion on the content from the large group lecture. So to register for a two-component class, you're going to want to pick your small group Tuesday, Thursday time first. So I'll pick 9 o'clock Tuesday, Thursday for my small group discussion. Then the next screen for a two-component class, you'll notice it says you'll be automatically enrolled in the related class section. So it's putting me in the lecture automatically. Now I'll click Next. Now I see that enrollment preferences again. But notice I have two components to this class. It's a five-day-a-week class. It's Calculus. We'll click Next because we're not going to want to choose that waitlist box. And now I have Calculus in my shopping cart as well. So now I have General Psychology and Calculus. But there are two rows for Calculus because there are two components. And then we'll pick one other section here. So I'll go back to the Search function. This time I may want to look for a liberal education area, not a specific department, but a liberal education area. So for that purpose, you're going to use the course attribute and attribute value drop-down menus. 
So for attribute, you'll open that up and pick Duluth Liberal Education. And let's say for today's example, I want to look for a humanities class. So I can open that up, choose humanities from the various liberal education areas. And then for today, I'm also going to check open classes only because I know there are a lot of humanities classes and I'm not going to want to see full humanities. I only want to see ones that are open because it doesn't make sense to look at a full one. Now I'll click search and I'm going to see a large number of classes. You can see I have 34 classes in my results. So I have an American Indian Studies class to start. There's art history is the second one. If I scroll down, there's communications, computer science, there's education. And as you can see, there are many, many different departments that offer humanities. So this is a very important technique to find liberal education areas uh, because that way you don't have to do, in this case, 34 separate searches. So if I know I want to register for a class, um, I'll pick select. It'll give me to the enrollment preferences. Again, I'm not going to wait list this. I'm going to click next and it's going to bump it right into my cart. So now I have three classes in my cart. And we'll do one more example. I'm going to do search. And this time I'm going to show you how to look at a, a prerequisite for a class. I'm going to enter HLTH for health and I'm going to do greater than in the course number field 3000. Now, I want to show you an example of how you can tell if you're eligible for a class. And here's an example of a class that's full with a waitlist. You'll notice the yellow triangle as a waitlist. But I may say, oh, I want to register for planning community health interventions, but I'm a business student. So if you're not sure if you're eligible, you can click on these active blue uh, text uh, color. You'll get into what's called the class detail screen. So right here you can see enrollment requirements. This is telling me that to take Health 3303, Planning Community Health Interventions, I would have had to have these other two health classes at the 3000 level, and I also would have to be either a public health major or a pre-public health major or minor. Um, this detail screen is also going to tell me how many seats are remaining, how many people are in the class, and it'll give me a short description of the class. Um, I'm going to select this class. Again, I'm not going to check the waitlist because I know it's open, and then I'll click Next. So now I've added that to my cart. So at this point, I have a pretty full schedule. So if I feel like my cart is complete, uh, I'm going to proceed to step two. And then this is a confirmation screen. And now I'm going to click Finish Enrolling. And then I should be registered for everything, except, oops, I see a red X here. There must be a problem. Remember, this class is reserved for public health majors who've taken these two 3,000 level classes. So you want to look closely at your search results and see if you actually got registered. And then one of the last things you're going to want to do is go up to the top and click on the My Class Schedule sub tab under Enroll. It'll start with a list view and notice it'll include things you may have dropped and enrolled in before, things you're waitlisted on. So what I find most useful is switch to the weekly calendar view and then you can see a nice visual grid of your week. Uh, so that's a really, you know, nice feature that a lot of students like to print this so they have it with them on their first day. It tells you your times and the location. In this case, the math discussion is in Heller Hall. Um, so it's a very useful tool. Um, but I could go back to the Add tab if I want to continue adjusting my schedule. Click on the semester. And notice that class that I didn't have the prerequisites for, that stayed in my cart, but it will not add because I do not have the prerequisites. So I could click on the trash can to take it out of my cart. Now I have an empty cart. And then down below, I can see what I'm officially registered for with the green dots next to it. If I want to drop a class that I already enrolled in, you simply click on the Drop tab up on top. I'll see my list of enrolled classes. And I might want to drop Calculus. So I'll check the box next to that one. Then I'll go to Drop Selected Class. Notice both components are being dropped. Finish dropping. And now I see a positive green check mark. I've dropped that class. So now I can either click on this button or go up to this tab and look at my class schedule. And you'll notice the calculus is showing up here, but the status is dropped. So you can filter it or you can look at the weekly calendar view. And then you'll see how the calculus is no longer on my schedule. Uh, the psychology and the communications are still there. So this is some of the basic functions of the shopping cart and how you're going to build your schedule using the MyU system. Thanks for listening.